Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 24th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as there's been no major solar flares and no more new CMEs heading our way. We did get slightly impacted a couple nights ago. Looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, huge plasma filament turning away, stretching from the surface of the sun. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a couple sunspot regions, but a lot of these sunspots are disappearing. We had over 12 in the last update, and right now there are four. Looking out, going, this is where that large plasma filament is on the left-hand side, Stretching from the surface, little earth to scale, give you a size comparison to the size of this thing. Looking at another light here, you can see all of this plasma. Solar prominence in action, stretching probably 20 earths tall from the surface of the sun. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed with daily events worldwide, looking at multi-spectrum right now, pointing out the last 48 hours of events and as well the magnetic field of our sun during this large earth-facing coronal hole. One of the largest I've seen and broadcasted here with daily events worldwide. This thing is now stretching into the North Polar region. Heads up, my friends and family. Stay tuned and please subscribe. Share with your friends and family around the world. Thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for being a part of one of the best and most caring communities on YouTube. Having a look now at sunspot regions in motion. As I did say that we've had a, se a severe drop in sunspot numbers. Major one there turning away. Other than that, it's gone quiet. We have now five Earth facing sunspots. Two of them are turning away. All of a sudden gone quiet. Current space weather conditions, quiet. There are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at 393 kilometers per second. As of now, as we are expecting. The solar winds to increase from this recent coronal hole. Solar X-ray flux showing a strong C-class solar flare today. Other than that, not too much to report. Proton flux is steady. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP4 today, and watch for that to hop up tonight. Having a look now at our geospace magnetosphere, showing the solar winds hitting our planet. A little black and white circle in the center is Earth. Left-hand side showing the velocity, wind speeds. Right-hand side showing the pressure. As these models will change over the next 12 hours, Expecting the impact of the coronal hole wind stream. Sharing now the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral showing the last most recent solar storm that we barely got affected by. And other than that, we've only got the coronal hole wind stream to deal with, which is in the green. Solar winds, we could see them upwards of 600 to 800 kilometers per second. Showing Alaska 3 here, a wide spectrum of our sun, showing its cosmic energies leaving the sun over the past two days. Earth facing coronal mass ejection there, waiting for the most recent CME models as they have not been updated in two to three days. Here's a look at tonight's Aurora view line and tomorrow's as tomorrow we will be impacted and there will be a slight chance for Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still above normal. Over 200 earthquakes past 24 hours. Deepest being a 619 kilometer depth Fiji yesterday. We've seen a pretty deep one today, 590 kilometer depth. Lots of activity. Indonesia, we had that large eruption at Luatolo Volcano. Deep earthquake here, 489 kilometer depth. Eastern Russia, 
just north of North Korea. Notable earthquake, China. 5.0 magnitude, and as well, activity in the Indian plate. 5.1, 4.8. Arabian plate seeing activity too into Iran. Peculiar earthquakes piling up through that region. As well, Portugal with a 4.4. Looking at the Central Americas, 4.9 there. Guatemala, 4.7. Easter microplate, 5.2. Earthquake here in Chile, La Serena. Really quiet. South America and up into Central America, even the United States. No major swarms to talk about right now. Earthquakes are kind of bouncing back and forth between California and Alaska and waiting for an eruption at Kilauea. This is a look at the most recent infrared video of the Kilauea Volcano Summit Caldera, just waiting for that to erupt again for the 15th time since Christmas. USGS reporting 237 earthquakes past 24 hours and 217 of them have been over California and Alaska. So most of these earthquakes occurring the Pacific Plate into Alaska and as well California was a little bit concerning last week when we had earthquakes all around the San Fran Valley Bay Area San Francisco Bay Area all of a sudden it's gone quiet and a lot of activity has now moved into Alaska big dormant volcano here Nova Rupta showing some minor seismicity Multiple volcanoes active along the Aleutian Islands. If you haven't seen the latest volcano activity report, please check it out. We have active and erupting 75 right now. Now let's have a glance at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Also going to take a quick moment to thank you for almost 89,000 followers. Got a bunch of followers on other social media platforms as well. Please don't forget to follow me everywhere. Links are in description below. This is a glance. Notable, quiet activity, Antarctic plate up into Africa. All of the deep activity we've seen, Fiji and Eastern Russia. Earthquakes piling up Alaska and a quiet zone at the Wandafuka, Wandafuka plate. Now let's have a look at sulfur dioxide emissions forecast brought to you by windy.com and 75 active and erupting volcanoes. Big plumes still coming out of Alaska, Hawaii, Mexico, and as well, eastern Russia, Japan, Indonesia with the big eruption at Luatolo a few days ago. Still sulfur dioxide cloud and ash debris diminishing along the equator. Notable eruptions continuing central regions of the Congo and South Africa towards Johannesburg. That thing just keeps spewing every day. Notable in the North Atlantic as well. Now let's get to weather, world weather forecast brought to you by Windy. Big low pressure system coming in to the West Coast Thursday into Friday. It's going to be the big weather maker for the end of the month. Other than that, it's going to be high pressure ridge till then and cool and most likely going to see snow in the forecast here in the long range for the first week of April, which isn't surprising, but winter is over already. Please just finish us off with maybe one more winter storm and then be done with it, but we'll see. <laughs> we are going through some pretty drastic changes on our planet and who knows with these forecasts. Overlooking Australia, Africa, and Southeast Asia, Europe. Strong low pressure systems affecting the continent of Australia. Watch for flash flood conditions through Queensland and as well parts of the Northern Territory. Other than that, no cyclones or typhoons forecasted here for the long range. Just a lot of big systems here in the Pacific Ocean. And the low pressure systems around Kilauea and the Hawaiian Islands. That's going to help bring in some warmer equatorial air and moisture 
which we will get by the second week of April. Big high pressure ridge building in there east of Hawaii. Watch this system in the long range. It's going to be a lot of moisture involved, but spring will definitely be here by the second week of April. After this major snowstorm for the Pacific Northwest, having a look now at snowfall accumulations, reds being in the upwards of 120 centimeters of snow, yellows around 20 to 5 to 30 centimeters. I always like to share here with you our upper level winds depicting our northern polar vortex right now as we're getting ready to go into spring and the polar vortex is breaking down in the north and is starting to gain momentum in the south but we've got some strange jet streams happening right now with the polar vortex trying to switch back into summertime for the northern hemisphere can see that massive upper level low pressure system over Canada or sorry high pressure and there was a massive low pressure system wrapped up in that look at the equatorial winds those are set to shift here really quick first week of April these will definitely look different look at the southern hemisphere already as the upper level winds are starting to whip up and get themselves organized over Antarctica for winter in the Southern Hemisphere. Bring on spring, my friends, but not after a couple more snowstorms. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Love and respect one another. Bye-bye now. Thank you.